So last night when I got in, I was exhausted. And you can probably tell by the video <laughs> when I got here, but I was wiped out. I was in bed by like 8.30, 9 o'clock last night and I fell asleep instantly. And I didn't wake up again until about 5 in the morning. And yeah, I've woken up and it's the perfect day. Blue skies in the rainy season, if you can believe it. And we're about to go trek for some primates. Let's go. I'm travel writer photographer Brendan Vanson, and this is my daily adventure. Welcome to It's My Life 365. So it's it's the wet season, so it's hard to see the pygmy hippos, but the guy Momo, yeah? Yeah, I said that there was likely pygmy hippos walking through here this morning. Yeah. They've created a a trail. They eat this moss. Yeah, this one. This uh, molest grass. I like to eat it. And then they go into the water. Yeah. You, you can see when it's up the leaves. Yes. How big are the pygmy hippos? Oh, they can be like this. Are they dangerous? No. No, they just run away. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's if you have the baby. Mm. They and will then be they're dangerous. dangerous. Yeah. Hippos. That would be cool to see. So we've been trekking for about maybe half an hour and we've already seen three species of primates. This is the red colobus and the first one I've been able to get on film. The whole troop of them up here. Beautiful. So I'm back at the main camp after my, my hike. It was about three hours hiking on the trail through the, through the jungle and <laughs> it was really hot, but it was also really, really good. We saw five species of primates, including the quite rare Suti manga bees, which I'd never seen before. I only caught it for a very small glimpse as it was racing across the trail in front of us, but still quite cool to see. Tons of red colobus monkeys in the trees. Pretty much any big tree like the ones you see behind me has had monkeys in it at some point. We also saw black and white colobus and some other smaller monkeys as well. We saw hippo tracks as I showed you. And yeah, um, the rest of the guys have gone to town. They said there might be some more people coming today. Two more people, which would be a shock. I still have not seen a single other tourist in all of West Africa, if you can believe it. So. <laughs> It'd be cool to see another tourist, but chances are there are they're probably aid workers on uh, on a weekend off. But yeah, it's been great out here on on Ty Island. We saw the chimp yesterday, the five species today, so we're up to six of the eleven species here on Ty Island already. Time for breakfast: tea, pancakes, it's a deep fried dough. It's delicious. It's my favorite thing in Sierra Leone. You get this deep fried dough. You can buy it just out of the buses as well. It's so good. Looks like a green vervet monkey up in this tree just outside of camp. A little bit shy, it doesn't like seeing me. It's doing this kind of, if I can't see you, you can't see me thing. Goes into hiding whenever I can finally see him. But you kind of see him peeking through there in the bush. Pretty sure that's a green vervet, but I ain't no expert. So I've been getting a little bit of grief that all I've been showing people is is the foreign foods. But the truth is, I think I get a little bit more excited about seeing foreign foods like pizza <laughs> than I do about seeing the local foods because I eat the local foods about 80% of the time and so the foreign foods are a little bit of a treat to me. Anyways, 
this is lunchtime, and this is pretty typical to to this part of Sierra Leone and much of West Africa. So basically, it's just stew, fish, and rice. They use things like cassava leaves sometimes or ground nuts sometimes. This is just a pretty simple stew with some, some onions and, and fish in it. But they also use green chili quite often in it, a lot of pepper. And so it's quite spicy and really, really tasty. I mean, the truth is, you can't eat this months and months on end without getting, uh, you know, sick of it. But it's very, very good. There's definitely blander food in the world, so... Let's dig in and eat this. So yeah, I've taken kind of just a pretty relaxing afternoon. I've been sitting here and just writing like crazy. And it's been really good because as I've been sitting here writing, a couple of monkeys have come into trees nearby that I've gone and taken a look at. And there's been quite a few lizards running around, which is cool. But yeah, all in all, a really good day here on TY Island. We're going to have another day tomorrow. We'll hopefully see more primates, maybe even see some chimps on a boat. We'll see what happens tomorrow. This has been day 54. Five of it's my life 365 and I'll see you tomorrow.